Hello everybody, Joe here, welcome to the channel. Today's video we've got a 10 minute AMRAP. So we'll start the timer and get going. We're gonna do, again, as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes. Uh, we will start with two pull-ups. After the pull-ups, we're gonna go into four squats. And then after that, we're gonna finish with six push-ups. So again, as many rounds as you possibly can of those three movements. Now these are super basic movements. Um, one of the guys on my uh, YouTube channel, he actually commented and said, hey Joe, uh, can you make a video with, um, with pull-ups, chin-ups, whatnot. Uh, and I said, yeah, sure. So this is the video that I'm basically making for that guy. Um, and I will probably make more in the future, just um, in the winter, it's space is kind of limited in my garage. So putting the chin-up bar, the pull-up bar, whatever, um, it's not really ideal for filming. However, in the summer, I uh, plan on doing some of these workouts in the backyard. And also, this chin-up bar that I have is by a company called Base Blocks. Um, it is a pretty decent chin-up bar. However, uh, it is uh, kind of wobbly. And as you can notice here, you know, it's kind of moving back and forth constantly when I'm doing things. And I've also got weights weighting it down right now. So, if I had a better chin-up bar that wasn't so wobbly, wasn't moving as much, I would probably do more uh, chin-up, pull-up uh, exercises, but yeah, it's kind of annoying. It's also a, a very thick bar. This is uh, maybe a two inch bar, or one and three quarter inches or so. So it is a very fat bar. Um, if you're doing, sometimes I do 100, 200 pull-ups, chin-ups uh, on it. Before anything, your forearms really start to really start to burn, uh, just because it's basically a fat bar. So makes your forearm grip strength a little bit more difficult. Uh, I've got on gloves today, which does help with the uh, with the grip strength. However, it's still winter in Alberta, so it's currently only around one or two degrees outside right now, uh, and not much warmer in my garage. So the harder I push myself, the more I'm going to warm up. And the better I'm gonna feel. But yeah, again, we're uh, not quite even three minutes in, a little over two minutes, two minutes, 20 seconds in. Uh, and you know, I'm starting to feel this already. Don't start these workouts off too quick. Don't, you know, just rip through them all because after three or four minutes, you're gonna be super gassed and you're gonna be like, okay, I, I need like a 15, 20 second breather or whatever. I always aim for, my belief is consistency is king. So consistent, um, you know, don't blow your wad all at once, start strong, finish strong, and in the middle, don't just die, you know, half, halfway through. You wanna you always keep your consistency, uh, your reps uh, similar, the same. So, you know, don't do like five reps one minute and the next minute do like one rep. You know, try to maybe maintain three or four reps uh, per se for each minute. Uh, and then I'm just saying that not for three or four reps during this one in a, in a minute, but in a workout in general, if you're doing three reps or something, uh, try to maintain that instead of going five reps one round and one rep the next round. So, uh, but we're doing great right now. If you, I do this with pull-ups, uh, I also do the, I do similar exercises, workouts with chin-ups. I see a lot of CrossFitters, they always tend to stick to the pull-up. Uh, and I think the reason of that is because they can do the kip. And when you do the kip, it makes the pull-up way easier. You know, if you can do, um, let's say you can do eight or nine regular strict pull-ups, you can probably do 20, 23 or so uh, kipping pull-ups. That is if you learn the form properly. At first, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but. And again, for these push-ups as well, maintain a completely straight uh, body, your legs, your back, everything. When you're going down, <clears throat> uh, my chest is actually coming down. It's basically, uh, basically touching that bar uh, that I'm stepping on right now. Uh, if I didn't have it in the way, I could probably go a little bit lower, but I'm always basically trying to touch my nose right to the ground. Uh, that way I know that I've come far enough down and you're not, you're, you know, you're not cocking your, your head forward when you're doing it. So see, straight, 
and the chin is basically hitting that bar uh, without actually hitting it because <laughs> that would be a pretty painful workout. As you can see, struggle's getting a little bit more real now. We're halfway through. So, again, I'm just trying to be consistent. I'm not trying to speed up. I'm not trying to slow down, just stay consistent. But I do, I'm a firm believer in these uh, full body workouts, just straight calisthenics. Uh, I do these all the time. I don't even really do any weights anymore. Uh, I don't do any machines anymore, I should say. I use weights, usually it's just, you know, uh, supplementing with deadlifts. I do a lot of bur uh, burpee deadlift kind of orientated workouts uh, and those are pretty pretty painful. I use also kettlebells and I use dumbbells. Uh, but just basic things, also my weighted vest, that's also another uh, great, great tool that I use. However, when I'm going on road trips uh, or bike tricks, uh, bike tricks uh, as you can, trips as you can see in the back, I have a motorcycle. Um, I still like to keep in shape while I'm on the road and you know when you're on a motorcycle you're you can't really move much or anything uh, I don't do a heck of a lot of hiking when I'm on my motorcycle I'm usually just uh, ripping around aimlessly through the mountains trying to uh, not hit deer and moose um, but yeah you know and and burpees and that burpees squats push-ups like literally the most basic movements that you can do a squash especially the squat and the push-up so uh, it's not common that you're going to be able to find a chin-up bar or pull-up bar wherever you go but if you can find one sometimes i've gone to the parks actually and i've worked out in parks uh, you know you've got the monkey bars and all that kind of stuff for the kids or certain places will have like um fitness kind of outdoor fitness facilities kind of set up. So when I was in Winnipeg uh, before this, at the park there, they had parallel bars and all kinds of different uh, variations of pull-up bars, some monkey bars and that, so it was great. I would run to the park, do my workouts, and then run home. So for these workouts, let's say you've got eight or nine sets this time, the next time try and get nine or ten sets. Or if you can't finish that last set off, you know you're doing this workout today, you're gonna you're gonna try it again in um, you're gonna try it again in a couple of weeks or whatever. If you finish ten sets this time, try and do ten sets plus maybe go through half, uh, maybe do two pull-ups and a couple squats just to kind of push yourself a little bit more, or maybe try and do another full set. I know it's not easy, but um, you're always trying to aim for improvement. Right now, I'm uh, definitely heavier than I'd like to be. Uh, yeah, tis the season for the cheesecakes, and um, yeah, not at my greatness, not at my great, greatest fitness level right now, but that's all right. I'm here, I'm grinding it away, and I'm trying my best regardless. Back to the pull-ups. I was going to do, uh, and feel free to do, half the workout with pull-ups and the other half with chin-ups. Sometimes I do do that. Uh, other times I will have one, let's say my left hand is faced towards me in a chin-up and my right hand will be faced outside as in a pull-up. Uh, and then each set I do, I just kind of rotate my hands. So I flip my hands back and forth, back and forth. Getting there, see if I can fit in another set after this. 35 seconds to go. As you can see, I'm also trying to finish strong, right? So always try to finish strong. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting this. Three, four, into the push-ups. We did finish this set. 
So I'm not sure how many sets that was. I think that was uh, 20 or 21 sets. So basically, you know, two sets a minute. That's pretty darn good. I wasn't expecting to get that many sets, but that's all right. Kudos to me. So the workout is complete. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, uh, hit the notification icon, and it will alert you to when I post new content. Again, I think I just said that I basically, I completed 20 sets. So that's great. Uh, I did 20 sets completed, and then the 21st, I uh, just started it, but that's all right. So yeah, stretch. Make sure you stretch out your back, your abs, your quads. Uh, you really want to uh, stretch your lats as well, but again, feel free to comment down below if you want to see me do a workout of your liking Leave it in the comments below and I'll try to do that the next time Enjoy the rest of your day and bye for now